Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again for another great tip on Personas Studio 1 version 4 Prime Edition which is the free DAW. I use Prime a lot of times when I'm actually coming up with ideas for music and I'm writing songs. It's very easy, very simple and it does the job. And if I'm happy to take it to the next step, I can move on to my professional version quite easily. It's very, very simple. But if you are just using Prime to record your music, which is a really great way to record music, and if you don't use a VST instrument, because Prime is limited uh, and does not support any VST plugins, unless you upgrade to the artist with the add-on feature or the professional version, and if you are just recording your live instruments, then it's fantastic. And in this example, I'm going to show you how I've actually recorded my tracks and then I'm going to master within Prime. But one thing I should mention that you will require one additional plugins for the Prime. And that is getting Studio One Prime Pro Plugins Bundle. It is quite cheap. Here you can see it's $28.11 Australian dollars, but I believe in US it's about $19.95 uh, or thereabouts. It's very, very affordable. And that is all you will need. A note, I'm not associated with Personas at all. And this is just my personal belief, how you are able to very quickly and very affordably to create music. Now I know there are a lot of videos that I have made about other DAWs which are all free and do support VST plugins, but because my main DAW is Studio One Professional, it makes it really easy to move up from and scale up from what it is. And I just like Studio One because it's very simple to create. It only took me a couple hours to write this song write all the tracks and sing it. And now I'm going to show you how to master it. So let's get things out of that way. As long as you know that you do need those extra plugins, like the compressor, the limiter, and the room revert that I'm using in this example. So let me quickly show you what the tracks are. I just have drums, bass, uh, some guitars, pads, electric guitars, piano, strings, organs, and guitar solo, and another organ there, and a couple of vocal tracks, and a couple of background tracks. And I have used one effect, which is just a room reverb. That's all I need for this song. Again, it's just a scratch song. And then I've used effects for my mix bus, where you can actually see all the tracks go into my mix bus and the mix box goes to the main. Now, you can see in my main volume, um, I do, or in my main mix, I did add initially Pro EQ and Compressor, but they are disabled at the moment, and I do have a limiter on post, just so that I can keep everything in control. And the reason I have used mix, mix bus here, effects as a bus, that's where I've moved them. And I will show you a reason why. This way, all your tracks are coming into this bus, EQ and compression applied, and then that's just going to the main output and going out. Again, being a scratch um, project, I've used minimal plugins. I have compressor on, compression on my guitars, an EQ and a compression on my drums, and my vocals just have, you know, a uh, high pass, cutting up the low, low frequencies. It's just sending to reverb. And the only other thing that I've also done is sidechain my main vocal into the guitar so that when my vocal is on, the guitar is controlled. And that's why I have the compressor here. This compressor is just a sidechain compressor um, so that whenever my vocal comes on, the guitar is sort of automatically compressed even lower, so my voice stands out. I have an example of how that works video, and you can click on the link, and that will take you to that video and demonstration of how I actually make that work. So how do we master it? Well, it's quite easy. What I want to do is all my tracks, and I've got 14 tracks of them, I want to mix them, and at the same time, once it's mixed, I would like that mixed stereo track to appear at the bottom of my track list. 
To do that, it's quite easy. It's very simple, and uh, Studio One will automatically do that for you. So let's have a look. We go into Song, and we say Export Mixdown. Here, I'm going to select uh, the file name. Let's uh, and this name of this song is called No Regrets. Okay. And you want to export to the WAV file, 16 bit is fine, 44.1 kilohertz, between the start and uh, end marker. And here is the option, import to track. So once it finishes exporting, it will import it into the project back itself, as well as have the file outputted. So at the same time, why don't we listen and enjoy my new song that is just a demo song at the stage and uh, we'll come back and I'll show you how we can actually go further and master it. And the reason why it's a great idea to use an auxiliary bus if you are using the professional version or the artist version and because in Prime we don't have buses, we're just using the effects channel as a bus and the importance of it as you will see in a minute. In the meantime, sit back Enjoy for the next three minutes my new song.
okay yeah <laughs> thanks for that hope you guys enjoyed it and um yeah i've just written that song i've written the lyrics and i've uh, put the chords down and um, you know, all the tracks just you can see on the screen i've used the um the arranger in prime to some places i uh, once i created the first one i copied them across and duplicated them except uh, once i copied them like in this chorus i'm adding more uh, instruments in there so it helps to build up the song using the arranger if you don't know about it i do have a video yep and you can click on the link above and then you'll be able to see how it actually works it's really really great and all these choruses it just you copy it and then later on as you can see i've added more instruments so the song builds up as it's progressing through now you might have noticed that the song finished abruptly because that's where i put the end marker but i want to actually fade these songs out so that's what we want to do and that's why this track now that it's imported in our project we can play around with it and try to master it you know, you know we don't have to do too much but we can master it now obviously the first thing we want to do uh, we would i would like to do is just cut the last bit in there give it some fade out maybe about here um, where about about 15 seconds fade out as you can see it says 16 15 seconds that's nice and then we can hold the middle and give it a little bit of thumb so it's not a linear fade out it's just sort of gradually and then all of a sudden just fades down so let's have a listen how it sounds now that it's faded out so let's have a listen what it sounds like i'm just going to solo that track because we don't need the rest of the tracks now we're just going to listen to this one And there we go. That's how we do the fade. Now we can work on this track to master our song. Now looking back at our mixing, and the reason why it's a great idea to have mix bus, now that we have this track, which is our stereo mix track, this one here, that's going to what's called main volume. I should actually uh, rename that to main mix. That's better. So now, when we are, whenever we are listening to it, it's going directly to the main mix. So it's bypassing now all of the EQ and the compression that I had before the mix down or for the mix down. I hope that actually makes sense. So as you can see, this one is going to the main mix, bypassing any EQ setting that I had. That way I'm not doubling on my EQ. So if I had my EQ and compression on the main mix bus, then every time I listened to my mix track, it will double up on the EQ because this mix bus it already has the Pro EQ and compressor applied to it. So it makes it really easy. So now if we want to, we listen to it and we go, oh, the vocals are too low or too high, or I need, um, no, the bass is too high, too low. I need a little bit of tweaking to do. That is all fine because you can actually go back and tune all of that because they're right in front of you there. You can certainly mute this one, adjust what you need to do and do the same procedure again. And then you will get another track and then you can work on that. And then you will actually compare and see whether your first mix was better or sounding or the second mix is better sounding. And you can also have obviously a progression of mixes or different mixes and you can decide which one is better. And once you have the best one, you can solo that one out and now we can actually put our EQ and compression on here before we export it again to the rest of the world. Well, that's it for this video. I know some people are going to say, well, Vache, that's not how you master it. You know, you didn't show me how to EQ and do compression and do all these plugins to make my song sound really great. 
Well, yes, that's true. I actually just shown you how you can set up for mastering, how you can make it really easy to get your mix done first. And then there are plenty of videos out there showing you how you can master your song once you have the stereo track. Well, now you have the stereo track. It's really not that hard. All you have to do is actually go and put the EQ and the compression that you need if you ever need to, and you'll be fine. For me, this mix is pretty much ready. I don't have to do much. And for the EQ, all I have done is taken some of the low uh, frequency, which I wasn't happy with, and boosted up a little bit the top end, and that's about it. And as far as compression, it's very, very little compression. It's just 2 to 1, and it's probably reducing no more than 1 or 2 dB reduction. And I'm quite happy with it, as you heard as it was mixed. I can have a listen to it in a couple of days' time and see if I need to do any changes. And if I do, I just apply an EQ or a compressor right here, and I have that here as well. Same thing. No external plugins required. You have everything you need, and uh, you can make it really work. If this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you do require further uh, information about the video, feel free to comment below. And if you do different way of mixing your stereo, you can certainly export it and open a new project and import it. But I thought this way you have both at the same time, so it's quite easy to change things in the mix and making sure that you have the best mix possible before you start mastering your song. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.